it's a lovely day for a ride. Still not happy with the camera angles and things. I did get a suction cup uh, which goes on the tank but I just don't trust it um, so for the moment I'm sticking with the helmet cam GoPro on the helmet it's fixed it's not coming off it's tucked out of the way it looks at what I'm looking it's just I'd rather it showed a bit more of the bike so I did uh, buy a little remote, wireless remote for the GoPro and uh, I've forgotten uh, let's try that view that's a bit more of the bike um, so yeah, so I did buy a wireless remote it's just that I was going to put it on here and uh, I've left it up the house so but the idea was just to do that with it rather than have to where's the old GoPro? anyway, I'm going for a ride um, enjoy question is, where am I going? <laughs> It's nice to be on my bike. To be honest with you, I thought uh, that the other day that was it. There's not going to be any more nice weather, but we're getting a few nice days, so while I've got those days, I'm going to get out on it. I've also um, had another little chat with uh, Charlie down at Laguna in Ashford and I'm uh, going to get a few things fitted at some point but uh, yeah I'm quite looking forward to that I bought a sat nav um, I didn't want to use my phone for a sat nav because the phone is like you know it's over a grand and uh, so they do vibrate somewhat even with some of these locks that you can get so I decided to just buy a set now it's cheaper um, and they'll fit it because I want them to fit it in the right place when they wire it into to some wiring it won't be the battery but it will be some wires that I would have thought they they wire into and at the same time I'm just going to get another uh, uh, an optimizer battery charger thing put on there just makes it easier for charging I don't particularly want to have to mess about disconnecting the battery to charge it with the charger I've got which is a car charger uh, and then I was also thinking about getting a bag but I've got to say I'm not that keen on that big rugged triumph bag they got on there um, it's alright if you're going to do long distance and carry quite a bit but if you just want something small like 8-9 litres then really I just need a tail bag really or a tank bag but I don't want a tank bag because I want to see the tank <laughs> although it would sort out a lot of the issues with the camera I could connect the camera to the bag and this that and the other although I have had another cunning idea as to what to do with another view I want to get which is using a big motorcycle stick 
um, fixes to the bike but I want to fix it to the rear um, so once I've sorted out this seat issue and got the rack on there I will look at getting a, a, a stick to put in the back and get a slightly higher view we had a lot of rain the other day so hence why I was having a lot of issues getting up the ramp had a lot of wheels spinning uh, making a real mess of the bike uh, and just making the, the ramp worse um, as you can see we've had a bit of dry weather wind and it's dried out that ramp no end so made it a lot easier to to get up I still had a fair bit of wheel spin um, but uh, yeah I'm going to make some improvements to that so I can try and get out over the winter I've also moved the microphone um, so that you get a bit more outside noise rather than just my breathing um, I don't particularly want you to hear my heavy breathing so last night was good we went out for a drink with some friends met up down there down the pub which was the uh, Duke in the and uh, had a couple of drinks and it was Oktoberfest in the pub and they've been doing that for the last few days and it's been quite successful and um, I'm not one for cabbage so I didn't have cabbage I didn't have that old what do you call it uh, but I did have one of their sausages chili sausage and pretzel and gherkin and it was pretty lovely so well done then for doing a good night the company could have been better I've got to say you know <laughs> Bob was awesome as usual top form And I actually met a few people last night that subscribed to the channel which I thought was really nice of them um, and uh, yeah yeah it was nice I'm just going to say thank you for anyone that's subscribing really um, please do I could do with some more I've got more people watching the, the, the footage which is great but I could do with a few more subscribers millions actually Someone asked me the other day, could they see more of Bob? Um, Bob's a little bit reluctant to be on the videos. I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, she's uh, quite quiet and shy and um, absolutely lovely. And uh, I don't want to push her to being on these videos. It's not fair. So <coughs> I've done a little trick for Bob. Let's take the... I love you. Can you say I hate happiness without pronouncing the H's? Don't pronounce the H's. I hate happiness. I hate happiness. <laughs> Nothing. It's very good. It's very good. Very good. Like and subscribe, leave a comment if you want.
bloody well shut. Monday to Saturday. It's no good, is it? Hmm. What to do now? Well, there's no one thing for it. so many anymore aren't they? <laughs> you see the size of it? It's massive! I used to have a mini, a minivan. That was my first car. Um, and I loved it. It was absolutely brilliant. Slow, uh, but it was fabulous, you know? I could just bung whatever I wanted in the back. And uh, off I go, because it was a van. And I was a bit messy, because I used to work with horses, so it's always like all junk in the back. And, uh, yeah, I'll never forget when I got that van, it was great. It was, it was my first car, and I was uh, doing an apprenticeship up in Reading, and uh, up the M4. And um, I had to, I had to drive on the M4 in this little mini van, and I had to floor it, okay, coming off, of the, off the slip road to get enough speed up to join the actual motorway uh, a, a, a decent 55, you know um, lethal, absolutely lethal I remember the engine fell out the, the mountains broke uh, and apparently that was quite common <laughs> and I, I did used to abuse it we used to have these little humpback bridges and me and my mate Peter Peter White his name would be like flooring it down this country lane round a bend and see if we could get air <laughs> as we go over this humpback bridge I mean no wonder the engine fell out <laughs> but oh good memories good memories I wonder what he's doing now but anyway I was just saying those minis now they're just they're no longer mini are they See if there's a space.
Nice ride, nice bike. <laughs> 